Well, you guys got another video here for you now quite a few people have asked me to make a video on how to uh, install windows 10 creators update and do the full process so i thought i'd make this video for you it is pretty basic uh, for some people but uh, for some people out there that wanted to see it so i thought i'd make a video on it it's not going to hurt so here we go so first off what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to microsoft website if you're running a windows 10 anniversary edition you can use this button to update to the latest windows 10 full creators update and uh, this is going to be able to update straight away from there for you now i think what they wanted to see was the full installation guide uh, so what you're going to need to do is download the media so you can get the uh, windows 10 installation media from here by clicking on their download tool now you can just run their tool straight off here this is the media creation tool that we're downloading. Now, once you've got this downloaded, say yes to the user account control and it will open up their tool. Now, you're going to need to make sure you've got a USB flash drive handy uh, to put this onto it. So uh, if you've got one of those, plug it into your machine right now. And it's just going to get a few things ready. Then you can uh, accept their uh, terms and conditions here. And then what it will do is it will try to detect your USB flash drive. Now, in this case, it says it needs a uh, eight gigabyte uh, USB flash drive or more. You can see upgrade this PC from there as well, but we're going to go for create installation media. Now there's a tick in here saying use the recommended uh, options for this PC. I'm going to remove this. And uh, you can see we've got Windows 10 64 bit and the language is on uh, English United States. This is the one we need, USB flash drive, and it needs at least eight gigabytes. So you need a, at least an eight gigabyte flash drive or more. They're pretty cheap nowadays. I'm using a SanDisk Ultra. So I've got it plugged into the computer here, and I'm just gonna select the USB flash drive option. You can download the ISO from here as well. Now you can see it's detected the USB flash drive. If it doesn't, you can click on the refresh uh, drive list up the top and it should detect it um, but I've already detected mine I'm going to select it and then click next now the download process will start it will download the very latest version of Windows 10 with all the updates on it so this is uh, a really a good time saver so it's download that latest version I've speeded this process up for you so it doesn't bore you to tears and uh, once you've done that it will verify and then it will start to create your Windows 10 media by copying it over to your USB flash drive. Now, once this is done, we can then uh, boot to that USB flash drive and change the boot order in our BIOS. Now, every BIOS is different, and some of them you have to push F2, uh, delete key, escape. They're all different keys that you have to push for different BIOS manufacturers. You can change the boot order without going into the BIOS. You don't have to directly go into there, but we'll take a look at the, some options. I'll leave the information up on the screen for you in a second. Now you can see that the USB flash drive is ready to use. We can now uh, click on finish and uh, we should then be able to continue process. So let me quickly zoom out here and click on finish and then we can reboot our system and then I can keep tapping on the delete key or Dell key on my case to enter the BIOS. Then I can change the boot order for my device, which is to SanDisk, uh, and you can do the same, but yours might be a different key that you have to tap. So look at the bottom of the post screen, it will tell you what key you need to tap on, and uh, you'll be able to enter that BIOS and then change the boot order. You can change it back once you've finished, or you can just not enter the BIOS and change the boot order uh, via another key, which will be listed in your manual. So once you've booted your USB flash drive, this is what you're going to get. And we're going to click on install now. So easy stuff right up to now, pretty easy stuff. And uh, all you need to do here is just follow the on-screen display here, what I'm going to show you. Now, you don't need to put in your license key at this stage. You can click on, I don't have a product key. That's okay, it will still install. Now you can choose what version of Windows uh, you want. Now I'm going to be doing Windows 10 Pro because that's the version I've got. So I can click next. And again, this will start the process of installing. Now if you've got home, make sure you select home or any of the other versions, okay? Select the uh, accept license agreement, then click on custom. Now this is going to allow you to partition your drive the way you want to by clicking on new here with the little 
sort of sun uh, icon but I'm just going to click on next here and have one whole drive so if you just want one complete drive you can click on next you can always create partitions later on so you don't have to worry at this stage so just click on next and then you can always make partitions afterwards so that's no big deal uh, right there so that's just going to install Windows on one partition and you're going to have one big whole drive so if you've got a terabyte drive you're going to have one big whole terabyte drive and you can partition it up later on once you get into Windows so here you can see it's going to start the installation process this will take a bit of time okay now I will speed this process up so it doesn't uh, take too long but I won't skip any pro uh, any parts out so you will see the full installation process okay and this is just going to help you uh, understand uh, how it works so I'll just speed this up a little bit here and then you'll be able to see the next step Now, normally getting the files ready for installation takes a bit of time so just you have to be patient there okay now don't start closing the PC down if uh, the screen goes black or anything like that just be patient because some PCs are faster than others and it does take a bit more time to uh, install on slower PCs so it's going to start getting everything ready here getting all your devices ready and then once we move past this stage we're going to get to the part where we'll have Cortana and we can disable some bits if we want to so let this get it all ready for us and then we can move on to the next step okay so now we can move on to the next step which is going to be uh, Cortana she'll start speaking to you and then uh, you can either disable her or leave her running it's entirely up to you and you can see she'll start speaking here now you can mute her at this stage if you want to uh, if you find her a bit annoying because she'll ask you to let her talk you through it so if you're not used to doing all this you may want to listen to her and let her talk you through it I find it quite annoying so I'll just disable her voice and uh, once we get past this little initial part here we'll be able to choose our own options and uh, just get things ready there we go we can now choose our region and uh, we can also choose choose our keyboard layout you don't need to have a second keyboard layout unless you do you can add an, an optional second keyboard layout if you wish I'm not going to do that it's now going to go online and start checking for updates if there's any updates available that it's missed then it will start to install them right at this stage and that will take you a bit of time so let that do its thing and it will move on to the next step so all we need to do here is choose whether an organization or personal use I'm going to choose personal use here now the next step is to set up your Microsoft account you can either create your own account or if you've got one you can use one of those or if you don't want to do that at all and you just want to keep it offline I'm going to keep it as an offline account I prefer that and uh, you can also sign in with any of these Microsoft accounts as you can see here store Bing, Xbox OneDrive and so on if you want to you can use any of those features I'm gonna say no here because I'm offline I don't need that so I'm gonna say no this is where I can put in my uh, username for my computer and you can see even at this stage you can always go back and use an online account if you want to click next and put your password in if you want a password you can put one in at this stage I'm going to just skip this part and you can even still go online and create an online account at that stage if you want to now this is where Cortana is if you want to leave Cortana on you can click yes and she will uh, talk you through the process or you can disable it and you can also let Cortana respond to hey Cortana if you want to I'm just going to say no here and uh, completely disable her there and you can disable her uh, by watching some of my other videos that's just turning her off now here is another option here your location diagnostics relevant ads uh, speech recognition and uh, tailored experiences with diagnostic data I turn all of these off I don't have any of these on but if you want to leave location on you can do and stuff like that it's entirely up to you I'm going to turn those off click accept and now this is the uh, last step and then what will happen is we will end up at the desktop so it's just going to get our user profile ready and start to uh, build our user profile and get us onto the desktop so there we go she's it's just going for the f final stages here I'll speed this process up because it does take a bit of time 
and uh, once this is done you should be at the desktop there we go we've just installed Windows 10 very simple and easy to do so let me just quickly show you here if you've got your license key at this stage you can still activate Windows because Windows has not been activated because we didn't put uh, the activation key in and I prefer to do it this way it's a lot more easier for me and uh, what's going to happen is you just go into your settings it's taking a bit long to open there we go and uh, down the bottom here you should see Windows isn't activated activate Windows now you can click on this and it will open up the activation pane here there we go and if you look here you can change your product key so click on change product key and uh, put in your product key that you've just purchased okay now once you've done that click next and go through the process and you will then be activated and you should be up and running you can then go and get updates and disable more stuff that you want to disable inside windows 10. anyway i hope this one helps you out guys my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys thanks for continued support have a great day bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet you can go to my main youtube channel here click on the red subscribe button and also what's really important is hit that bell notification button and this will notify you when i upload new videos